Hello fellow bike people, got some maintenance tips for you today. This awesome road bike belongs to one of our regular customers and it's in for service, it's getting new handlebars, new uh, stem, new bar tapes, new cables, new chain, all that good stuff. But for right now, I just want to use it to show you how to do an M check, which is the basic safety check to identify if there's problems with your bike. Now it's really easy to find specific how-tos of how to fix a part or fix a specific problem with your bike. I noticed there's not a ton on how to identify if there's a problem. So what we're doing here is called the M check. Like this, like this, like this. Making an M shape while checking all of the important parts of the bike. So at the lower base of the M, we're going to check for playing the wheel, shaking it sideways. If you feel any knocking, that's a problem. We're going to spin the wheel, make sure it's not hitting the brakes. We're going to inspect the braking surface, so if it's a rim brake, run your thumb along it to make sure that there's no big gouges or anything. If it's a disc brake, make sure there's no discoloration and maybe wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol. And while you're down here, it's always good to make sure that your derailleur is nice and straight. Looking at it directly from behind, it should run nice and parallel to the cogs on the cassette. Moving up from the lower point, past the brake here, to the top of the M. Seat posts and seats can make a lot of noise, and they come loose pretty easily. So it's good to check if you feel any play up here, or if you hear any knocking or creaking when you lean hard on the seat in one direction or the other. In this case, totally silent. Down from this tip of the M to the cranks, here you're doing basically the same thing as at the rear wheel, just at the crank area. So you're going to shake it side to side, look for play, you're going to give it a spin, make sure everything's nice and straight. This bike doesn't have a chain on it at the moment, but yours probably will. So give it a little bit of a spin, look at each link, make sure there's nothing bent or twisted or you know, splayed open or anything like that. And then move from the lower point of the M to this tip. Here we're looking for play in the headset there, so you're steering. The easiest way to do that is either grab a handful of brakes and shake forwards and backwards. You shouldn't feel any play or movement in there. Or if you have the kind of bike that only has a rear brake or no brakes at all, you turn your handlebar sideways and use the tension of the frame and the wheel, just pushing back and forth like this to see if there's any play in these bearings. Last point of the M, the lower bit here, we're going to do the same thing we did to the back wheel, just with the front. So we're going to try and shake it side to side, can't replay the bearings, and give it a spin, make sure it's nice and true, make sure the brake works, and we're going to inspect the braking surface. Doing this kind of basic safety check can keep your bike running a lot longer than you'd expect. This is going to help you identify any kind of problems and solve them before they start to cause long-term damage. Proper bike maintenance is a combination of things like the M-Check, where you actually check for safety hazards on the bike, and basic maintenance jobs like pumping the tires, lubricating the chain, keeping everything clean, all of that. The bikes, for the most part, are really reliable, but you should still do this type of check at least every couple of rides, just to make sure. What we're looking for in M-Checks and safety checks like this, they're problems that you probably won't notice while you're riding until they actually cause some damage or launch you off the bike or something like that. It's going to keep you safe, it's going to keep your bike running better, and it's going to save you money in the long run because your bike is going to last. 